Good afternoon and welcome to Wall Street 1130. Today we have the Chief Executive Officer at J.C. Penny, Myron E. Ullman, as well as the Vice President and Chief Marketing Officer of J.C. Penny, Michael J. Boylson. Before we get to that, a word from our sponsors. Big style, big savings. It's our biggest sale of the season at J.C. Penny. The entire store is on sale. Get an extra ten dollars off when you spend twenty-five or more with coupon. Plus, doorbuster deals on dresses for her, men's suit separates. Boys and girls apparel and girls dress shoes. Doors open at 9 a.m. Friday and Saturday, so celebrate spring early at our biggest sale of the season. J.C. Penny, when it fits, you feel it. Welcome back and uh, welcome to this new fine gentleman. How are we doing today? Very good. We're doing great. Uh, we've actually been waiting for this opportunity for a couple weeks now to share with you guys uh, a lot of the new things that our store has been coming up with, and uh, we made a lot of changes and improvements. So, really excited to be here. That sounds great, and I'm sure we're all looking forward to hearing what you have both, both have to say. I would like to start in the past. From the public's understanding, JCPenney has been fairly struggling in recent years. Why do you believe that has been happening? Uh, to be completely honest, we've gone away from a lot of our core values. Um, we've tried to sort of become something that we're not, and that's something that we're definitely trying to recover from. Um, you know, we moved away from our coupon and sales event strategy. Uh, I moved towards a fair and square, everyday low price, and uh, that really didn't work out. You know, our customers didn't really react well to that at all. So, um, we're trying to definitely change that. Also, recently we've had long the expenses that are too high for our liking. Uh, along with those expenses, we have long-term debt that increased by 73% over the past couple of years. Another reason why our company has seen a decrease in sales and profits is because the middle class has been gradually shrinking over the last couple of years. Our main target market has always been the middle and the lower class. Very interesting points, gentlemen. Uh, my next question would be, do you, either one of you believe that the company's most recent struggles would be to the decisions that Ron Johnson had made? Our company is not about trying to talk down our past employees, but while he was working with JCP, we do believe that there have been several bad decisions he's made. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes was changing for our pricing strategy and moving from towards the fair and square uh, everyday low prices. Yeah, also, he was a very impulsive man. Um, I mean, he never really tested anything before um, he decided to do it, put it in action. He didn't really look to our customers and really ask them, try to figure out what they wanted before he made any of his decisions. And I think that's really, you know, you have to look at the customers. Um, he also alienated a lot of core customers doing by doing that, and that really hurt because we rely on our loyal customers a lot. And um, he kind of just really misread what uh, the brand was trying to do. Interesting. Um, next question is, I know you guys are trying to make a comeback from the decisions that Ron made. So what are some of the current areas you're trying to improve? Well, we are making a major decision to move away from the fair and square everyday low prices and have decided to move back to our original pricing strategy, you know, which is having the coupons and sales events. Uh, you know, our customers really reacted well to those when we had them and we know that, you know, sale right after we start doing those, sales really plummeted. So, um, you know, if you look back at when we were successful, we were doing those coupon sales, you know. Our stock price was as high as $82 and, uh, you know, we want to get back to that because um, it's really what we want. Let's be honest, people absolutely love couponing and sales events. And look at Black Friday, look at Memorial Day weekend. Most of our customers love finding the best sales they can. Shoppers are currently using six main sources uh, to gain access to coupons. This includes uh, coupon websites, retailer websites, email, mailing lists, search engines, and social media. Uh, gaining access to these coupons gives the shopper exact reason why they can believe they should purchase an item in the store. We also believe we are planning on getting heavily involved in mobile couponing. Uh, according to our research, about 121 million people will be using mobile coupons by the end of 2015, and the number was just 7.4 million in 2010. Interesting. Yep. Um, and along with the coupon sales events, we're in the process of setting up a deal with Groupon, so it's easier for our customers to access these coupons online. Um, another thing we're trying to do and you know improve greatly is our store design. Uh, when Ron was there. The layout of the store was sort of just like an entrance to the mall. It was like a, a straight walkthrough. You know, you walk into the store, you can walk into a straight line, and you're in the mall. You know, what we want to do is make it a little more challenging for our customers to just walk in and out. We want the layout to be, 
you know, so that they go through a lot of the different departments. You know, they might walk in, want one thing, but, you know, end up seeing three more items that they want. And that's really what we're going for. And uh, another thing we're also strongly considering is just our own individual stores, you know, outside of the mall, standalone stores throughout the country so we can sort of just be our own unique store. Now, besides moving away from the fair and square pricing, what are some of the other main marketing focuses for JCPenney? All right, well, our main marketing scheme is basically focused on tweens. Uh, we really plan to focus on the younger generation. Uh, we believe it, believe it or not, <laughs> They have an extreme amount of power in terms of where money is spent. One industry has kids 8 to 12 spending $30 billion of their own money annually and influencing over $150 billion of their parents' spending money. We thought long and hard in, in trying to find celebrities that would have a deep impact on this demographic. And uh, we're planning on releasing a Chris Pratt, uh, JCPenney exclusive, uh, boy, holding line for boys. Uh, Pratt is a well-known uh, actor of his generation, and uh, he recently play the role of Star-Lord in the film Gardens of the Galaxy. Interesting, interesting. Uh, along with that, we also signed Ariana Grande for a JCP exclusive clothing line for girls. Um, you know, Ariana is current hip-hop artist um, which many young girls have come to love. Uh, between Chris and Ariana on our team, we, you know, as along with advertisements, we believe that tweens will want to come into our stores. Uh, and along with these two celebrities, Standing out um, by our top designers, Liz Claiborne, Royal Valet, Disney, Sephora, People Magazine. We have a lot of advertising that we really want to get out there. Now that we've heard your marketing ideas, as well as the new celebrity clothing lines, what do you believe the future holds for JCPenney? Well, our site's e-commerce sales have been struggling, and uh, we believe this is something that we can improve greatly on. Uh, we're also introducing a system where the stores in, on this actual stores and the online stores will be able to communicate. If a uh, customer can't find a certain item in the stores, they can go find the size in a certain article online because everything will be online as well. Um, we're also extremely proud to announce that we're going to be partnering and selling through Amazon. Uh, you know, as you know, Amazon is the worldwide leader in e-commerce uh, with over 270 million users. This partnership really opens up a whole new market for us and we believe to be successful. So we're also putting a major focus on giving store managers more decision-making abilities uh, in terms of selecting merchandise, making other crucial decisions related to the store, uh, and their locations. Uh, managers have recently been called store leaders, but now we're going to be calling them general managers. Uh, also, we haven't given them the freedom to make major decisions in the store in order to increase sales. And we want to make general managers uh, able to control their stores and have the ability to make those decisions and increase our sales at all of our locations. Awesome. So the future looks extremely bright for JCPenney, but how do you plan on being able to differentiate yourselves from your competitors such as Kohl's, Macy's, or Target? One of the newest features we plan on introducing is personal home stylists. Our home department is one of our leading producers of revenue out of all our departments the last few years. Uh, we want to continue to grow this department and make it extremely successful. Uh, now each and every JCP will have a stylist that customers are able to schedule for appointments at an hourly rate. And Sal will be able to decorate a room completely or restyle the entire house using our JCP product line. Uh, and expanding our home as well as introducing new home stylists to really differentiate ourselves from our competitors. I, be I believe that we are substantially different uh, from a lot of our competitors. Um, and I think that we're going to have a major edge in future years. Partnering with Amazon and Groupon is going to produce revenue that we haven't had access to in previous years. Um, our internet sales have increased 12%, increased 12% last quarter. So, you know, we're really doing a good job getting on online. Uh, w along with these partnerships, um, moving back to the sales and coupon events, those are definitely becoming a major part of who we are and who we want to continue to be in the future. Um, we anticipate a lot of emphasis on, you know, the, the store home, um, the reintroduction of JCP catalogs that will be mailed monthly, um, gives cu customers an opportunity to browse certain things online or just at home in our catalogs and they can you know, look at all the different things we have without doing anything. So we really feel that we're taking a big step towards the future to differentiate ourselves. Well, thank you both for your time and insight. Uh, I really appreciate you coming in and we'll see all of you next week. Good night.